it's not the dollar value of the iPad that someone took from you. It is the uh, intangible costs associated with uh, fear, uh, the fear and the emotional costs that come from having someone stick a gun in your face and demand your iPod. At that point, your, your iPod or your iPad is the last thing that you, uh, that you care about. I think that the, what is, there's a very, very small um, literature in, um, in criminology and the economics of crime that tries to assign dollar values to these intangible costs of crime. And I think what is reassuring is that the, uh, the numbers that we have so far tend to make sense in the sense that they, uh, they fit more or less reasonably well alongside each other. And they also fit reasonably well alongside um, research that you see in other areas of public policy that try to value intangible costs.